Welcome ladies and gentlemen to WrestleSlam special. We are here at the Kino in Cork for tonight's show of RCW. It's not a show, it's a tribute. And here I am standing by a man who, not gonna lie, I'm a bit either intimidated or like a bit of a fan of, to be honest, because oh, no matter where you go around the wrestling circuit, around Europe, anywhere else, your name is always attached. Uh, he's around, he competed around Scotland, this man competed around England, Germany, uh, France. Yeah, I, I keep running out of countries. Ladies and gentlemen, Leifel Buzzard. Mr. Buzzard, how you doing, my man? Yeah, I'm doing good tonight. Thank you. I'm looking forward to making my RC debut. First time wrestling here in Cork. I've heard it's a great crowd, so I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. So, of course, uh, you, you're around here in Ireland long last. Uh, we all heard about, unfortunately, your plane got delayed yeah. and everything. So, But literally, once you landed, you already made a big impact by Thank winning you. the Irish Junior Heavyweight Championship against Fabio at Five Factory. Yeah, you, you just landed. You already picked up a title. Uh, how are you feeling about that? Uh, your head still big from it? or? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it was really such a cool night for me. It meant a lot to me. You know, Ireland's one of my favorite places to wrestle. I've been coming over here since last August, September time. Um, it was Fight Factory that gave me my first shot. Um, so I really appreciate that from them. You know, before I'd wrestled everywhere around Europe, Fight Factory, the first people to take a chance on me. So to be able to come back this year, obviously last year, I couldn't make it because of the flight getting canceled. But to come back this year, uh, main event, the first show of the year, win the Irish Junior Heavyweight Championship in my, my first win in Ireland, which is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, it really, really meant a lot to me, um, especially getting in there with Fabio, like such an amazing opponent, really, like everything he's done for, for Fight Faction, for that championship. It was really special for me to get to share the ring with him last night. Um, and it's not a moment I'll forget anytime soon. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. And of course, you, you're no change to Ireland. You always, you, like you said, you love coming here. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Thank you. But now you're here in Cork in this little city of Ireland. You're making your RCW debut. Uh, what are you going to expect from the crowd? What are you going to expect for tonight's matchup you have? Uh, well, I've heard loads of great things about the Cork crowd. Uh, I heard it's got a really loyal fan base. Uh, it's going to be packed out tonight. I'm really looking forward to making my debut. Uh, it was something that was in the works last year, but never ended up happening. So uh, to get to do Fight Factory last night and then RCW today, uh, really cool. Really looking forward to my match. It's a match I've wanted for a long time. Martin Steers, who in my opinion is one of the best wrestlers on Ireland today. Um, especially just in the last year, everything he's been doing in Fight Factory and OTT, RCW, previously Phoenix. Um, just I think he's a really special talent. So I'm really looking forward to getting to share the ring with him tonight. And put the ICW title and the Fight Factory Pro Wrestling Irish Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line as well. Exactly, man, exactly. Now, of course, you've been traveling a lot. You've been going to so many countries here and there. Yeah. Now, this is not a wrestling related, but how do you have time to sleep or even breathe even? Because I keep looking at your matches coming up and I'm like, Leifel needs to, can he ever sleep, breathe, or is that just fine on your side? Or uh, Well, it's pretty hard, you know. Lots of naps in airports, you know, quick sleeps on planes. Uh, yeah, I don't get to sleep much when I'm traveling, especially in, like, in the last 10 days. I've got another show tomorrow. Uh, I was just down in London last week doing a theater show. The weekend before that, I was in England, Sweden, Scotland. Um, so, you know, on big weekends like this, you know, you just you take it when you can. Sometimes that means sleeping in an airport. Sometimes it means, you know, putting your head down in a cafe. You take it here and there where you can. But it's all worth it, and I wouldn't change it for the world. But this is the life I wanted. Uh, being a traveling wrestler, being a traveling world champion, this is the life I wanted. So, you know, I can sleep later on, you know. Once I get home, I can sleep. But until then, um, I love living this life and I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, and of course, uh, you're not afraid to put yourself out there. And you put out a certain video against a certain wrestler by the name of Will Ospreay. Yeah. He accepted, and it's going to be on the 9th of February. You're yeah, going to be stepping the ring. Yeah, yeah. With Will Ospreay, of course, you said that you're actually you're a big fan of him, and now you don't want to be the next Will Ospreay. You want to be the next you. Um, what's your thoughts going into facing well, uh, one of the best wrestlers in the world, yeah. might I say, with Will Ospreay? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, in my opinion, I think he is number one wrestler in the world right now. Uh, no one's put on matches like him. But yeah, it was so crazy. I literally, I just took a chance on myself. He put out the open challenge. I put out a promo, challenged him to the match, uh, and then a couple of days later, I've got a message asking if I want to come down to Rev Pro um, and wrestle Will Osprey on February 19th. Um, so yeah, it's really surreal for me. Everything's happened so fast. This all happened within the space of like three, four days. So it was a really a uh, pretty crazy roller coaster, but the match is happening. It's a match I've wanted for a long time. Like you said, you know, obviously I like so many guys um, in the UK Indies, um, UK and Ireland, you know, um, really came through. Will Osprey was one of the biggest names on the Indies. So I took a lot of inspiration from him. 
Uh, but yeah, like you said, I don't want to be the next Will Osprey. I want to be the very first El Capitan. Um, so February 19th, Leighton Buzzard, Will Osprey, Revolution Pro Wrestling in Southampton. It's going down and I'm going to be ready for it. Mm. Of course, you made your name. Now, let's just say like a certain wrestling independent company like WWE, Impact or AEW knocks at your door, knows who you are. And if they said, like, straight up said to you, all right, Leighton Buzzard, who do you want to step in the ring with next? You already got Will Ospreay. I feel like you have the power to call out any wrestler at this point. Anyone you have in mind, or should we, is that? Man, there's so many, uh, so many wrestlers in the world, you know. But um, you know, you always want to go for the top guy. So if I had to choose anyway, it's gonna be uh, Roman Reigns. You know, number one, best Ooh. in the world. <laughs> should we do something bold before we end it? Like, uh, if he's watching right now, what would you say to him? Yeah, let's go for it, man. You know, you always go for the big dog, number one. That's always always the plan. Yeah, you heard it first here at WrestleSlam. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your time. Best of luck for tonight.